Hello everyone, I am Dr. Naina Singh and today I am over here to acquaint you with the topic social survey. So let's begin. Social survey, for telling this we can split the word into two social plus survey. So here social means something which is related or pertaining to society and when you talk about the word survey. Again, we will divide it into two. One is SUR, sir, which means over. Then when you talk about the other word, wear, it means to look or to see. So the entire meaning is to look over. Let's come to a general definition of social survey. So a survey is a research method for collecting data from a predefined group of respondents to gain information and insight into various topics of interest or something pertaining to problems. Social survey are generally quantitative and the history of the social survey is intimately bound up with the development of statistics. The social survey method has the ultimate goal of seeking social facts. The very first definition talks about the social survey is a systematic collection of facts about people living in a specific geographical, cultural or administrative area. The other definition according to Bogardus, he talks about a social survey is the collection of data concerning the living and working conditions broadly speaking of the people or in a given community. Next definition of social surveys according to Morse, he says it is a method of analysis in the scientific and orderly form of defined purpose of a given social situation and activities. Now let us talk about the types of social survey. So the very first type is the general and specialized social surveys. In the general survey, the entire community is studied in a general manner. A specialized survey attempts on unearthing some particular aspects of the community such as unemployment, child labor, problems of the slums, hygienic attitude, prostitution, beggary, terrorism, nepotism, etc. Next category of types of social survey talks about the widespread and the limited surveys. In a widespread survey, a very large area is covered concerning multiple aspects of the purpose of social survey. But when a survey covers a small area and usually confines itself to some specific questions, it is called or known as limited survey. The next type of social survey is the primary and the secondary surveys. The primary surveys are undertaken afresh and the field workers collect data directly from the fields. In a primary survey, the surveyor has got the liberty to set the goals for procuring the relevant facts and information. In the secondary surveys, the surveyor only examines the facts which are already available or being researched by other researchers. Next is the initial and repetitive surveys. When you are talking about initial survey, it is conducted for the first time in an area or pertaining to any problem or issue. Then any subsequent survey on the same social problem covering the same area are called the repetitive surveys. Next type of survey you can call it preliminary or the final survey. A preliminary survey is also known as pilot study in research. It occupies the place of forerunner of the final survey. The purpose of this particular survey is to get the first hand information or knowledge of the universe which has to be surveyed or in which area we have to do the research. So you can say in this context you are actually talking about the geographical location or where the respondents are readily available. It helps a person to get the get acquainted with the problem and the nature of the respondents to prepare the schedule or questionnaire organizing the survey on proper lines. Let us talk about the final survey. Final survey is conducted after the completion of the pilot survey or you can say pilot study. 
let us talk about the other survey which is known as public survey or you can call it confidential survey. Some surveys are not of highly personal in nature and accordingly no secrecy is maintained in the collection of the data or publication of the results or statistics. These surveys are therefore known as public surveys. If the nature of the survey is such that the information is collected or the source of information is not to be revealed to the public, the survey is then called as confidential surveys. Next type is known as the official, semi-official or private survey. Official surveys are conducted by the government through its various departments or organizations or you can say institution. The survey conducted by quasi-government institutions like universities, corporations, boards, etc. are termed as semi-official surveys. If non-government persons or agencies or organizations conduct the survey, then it is known as private or you can say business surveys. Let us talk about the other type of survey that is known as census survey or sample surveys. In census type of surveys, all the units of the research universe are contacted for the collection of data. If the research universe is of heterogeneous nature, census surveys found to be more suitable. Census survey covers a large geographical area, location or you can say demography. Let us talk about the sample survey. These are some representative units where samples are being collected for the collection of data. If the research universe is constituted by homogeneous units, sample surveys preferred because it spends less time, energy and money. So when you are talking about social research and social survey, so there is a difference between social research and social survey, let us pay heed on it. Social research refers to a systematic and scientific in investigation of any social phenomena or you can say any social issue such as patterns of behavior, attitude and beliefs. It can include wide range of research methods including surveys, experiments, observation and case studies even. When you are talking about survey research on the other hand, it is a specific type of research method that involves collecting data from a sample of individuals through questionnaires, interviews or interview schedules. Surveys are often used to gather information about attitudes, opinion, behaviors of a particular population. Talking more about survey research, you can say it is the collection of the information from a sample of individuals through their responses to the questions we have asked during the primary research. The other part talks about survey research is also a process of conducting research using surveys that researchers send to survey respondents or individuals. The data collected from the surveys then is statistically analyzed to draw meaningful research conclusions. The traditional definition of survey research is a quantitative method for collecting information from any pool of respondents by asking multiple survey questions. Now talking about the importance why survey research is important or what is the need of survey research? The need to know why. For example, why did they buy or not buy a particular brand or product or why a particular problem exists in the society? What, what did the like or dislike about? Who or what influenced them? These are certain questions when you interrogate on the basis of why. Then we come the need to know how. So here we are putting stress on how. How did they make the decision? What time period passed? What did they examine or consider? When and where was the decision being made? What do they plan to do the next? Then we talk about the next to know who. So when you are talking about who, you are talking about an individual or a group. 
who is the person for the demographic or lifestyle perspective information on age income occupation marital status stage in the family cycle education and other factors are equally necessary for the identification and definition of market segments talking about the process of conducting survey research so there is a diagram or a flow chart first we talk about the establishment of objectives second we talk about the identification of target audience and sample third we talk about the determination of the types of survey we discussed in in this uh, module then we talk about designing the survey questions pertaining to the research area or topic then we talk about the distribution of survey form and gathering information and the final is the analyzing the survey and write up the survey result or conclusions now on the basis of the medium of conducting survey research survey research method could be online or email survey nowadays we do it through the google form or google surveys then phone survey then face to face survey next we talk about based on the medium of conducting survey research when you are talking about conducting survey research we already said online or email survey online survey research is one of the most popular survey research methods today as we get the results or the information very very soon as it's filled instantly email surveys are defined as a method of data collection to collect quantitative data using surveys or questionnaires that are sent to a targeted respondent via email or whatsapp groups nowadays respondents can then answer these surveys directly in embedded questions or respond over email depending on the survey delivery method which is chosen by the researcher itself the cost involved in online survey research is extremely minimal and the responses gathered are highly accurate and nowadays it is in a greater use let's talk about the based on the medium of conducting survey research more talking about the phone survey so when you are talking about the phone survey survey research conducted over the telephone or cell phone or mobile can be useful in collecting the data for more extensive section of targeted population second thing there are chances that the money invested in phone surveys will be higher than the other mediums then the response rate is equally high time consumption is equally less next is the based on the medium when you are conducting the social survey that we talk about face to face survey talking about the face to face survey research conduct in depth interviews in situations where there is a complicated problem to solve it employs verbal questioning flexibility in the questioning collection of supplement data the high res response rate for this method uh, you can say it's the highest then it can be costly because you are spending time also and it's a face to face survey or interview now talking about survey research methods specifically when it is based on time so this you can divide into two sections one is the longitudinal survey research the other is the cross sectional survey research when you are talking about the longitudinal survey research over the continuum of time and spread across years and decades respondents behaviors preferences attitudes are continuously observed over time to analyze the reasons for a change in the behavior or preferences when you are talking about the cross uh, uh, sectional social surveys or survey research researchers conduct a cross sectional survey to collect insight from the targeted audience or respondents at a particular time or you can say interval researchers rely on cross sectional survey research method in situations where descriptive analysis of a subject is required now let's talk about when you are doing this survey or opting the survey research method what are the different scales of measurements of the variables so the different scales are nominal scale ordinal scale then comes the interval scale or you can say the ratio scale let's talk about the nominal scale first a nominal scale associates numbers with the variables for mere naming or labeling 
and the numbers usually have no relevance. It is more basic of the four levels of measurement. Let's talk about the other scale that is the ordinal scale. The ordinal scale has an innate order within the variables along with labels. It establishes the rank between the variables of scale but no difference value is there between the different variables. Let's talk about the third that is the interval scale. The interval scale is a step ahead in comparison to the other two scales talking about the nominal or the ordinal scale. Along with establishing a rank and a name of variables, the scale also makes known the difference between the two variables taken in the hypothesis. The only drawback is that there is no fixed starting point of the scale that is you can say the actual zero value is absent in the interval scale. Let us talk about the other measurement uh, scale of variables that is the ratio scale. The ratio scale is the most advanced measurement scale which has variables that are lab labeled in order and have calculated difference between the uh, dependent and the independent variables or you can say different variables. In addition to what in interval scale orders, this scale has a fixed starting point that is you can say the actual zero value is present in the ratio scale. Now, let us talk about the benefits of the survey research methods. When you are talking about the benefit, the first point comes its cost. Surveys are relatively, you can say, in its inexpensive. Online surveys and mobile in particular have a very small cost per respondent. Even if incentives are given to the respondents, the cost per response is often far less than the cost of administrating a paper survey or you can say comparison to the phone survey and the number of potential responses can be in thousands. The next benefit is its extensive. Surveys are usually in describing the characteristics of a large population or talking about demography. No other research method can provide this broad capability which ensures a more accurate sample to gather targeted results in which to draw conclusions and make important decisions. The third benefit of survey research is flexibility. Surveys can be administered in many modes including online surveys, email surveys, social media surveys, paper surveys, mobile survey, telephonic survey, face to face surveys or interview. For remote or hard to reach respondents using a mixed mode of survey research may be necessary. So, this is all for social survey. Thank you all. Let us connect it, let us be connected for the next topic pertaining to research methods. Thank you.